everybody. Uh, Martin again. Today I'm tying a tri foam hopper. Quite a simple um, grass hopper pattern. Good to have in your box when there's a bit of uh, when the summer's coming in. You know, if you're fishing anywhere with a fall of hoppers, this is quite a nice wee pattern. So, I'm starting um, a TMCO TMC3761 size 8 in the vise. I'm going to run on a bed of tan thread. Um, obviously, you can change it, but if you're tying them green or whatever. Um, Just change the thread colour, and it's it's uni. I like a a round thread rather than a flat thread for this. It's, I think it's better for the foam, um, and I like to sort of make a decent wee base to help the you know, it helps the the super glue and the foam all stick. Um, for for the body, I've got these three layers of foam. That I've glued together and cut out it's about five mil. It's just slightly longer than the the hook, and this is two mil foam. Again, just choose the colours to suit. You might want to use greens or you could go darker if you want to make that a sort of cricket invitation. So I've also slit along the bottom. I'm just going to offer that up. So the, the the base of the foam, the the short end of the tapered section, is just sitting off, off the back of the bend there. And I've got the thread sort of in line with the barb. I'm just going to take a turn over the foam, pull it tight, two or three tight lock and wraps. So I get that in position. Then tighten back up on top of it. And Take the thread forward, do the same again to, to start creating the segmented effect. And three turns is plenty, you don't need to, don't need to go mad. Same again until you've got sort of three body segments, a head, and the, the abdomen sort of sticking off the back. And then I'll turn that over dead quick. I'll take some super glue, and uh, if you pull the, t the sort of tail of the body up off the shank, you can. Get some super glue around the bend and then push the foam back over it and that really that really helps lock in place. Let's see my she's just split there, there we go. So the next thing is I'm going to tie in the front legs. These are pre cut. Right I just fold them over the thread and then just pull them. Oops. Try that again. Just fold them over the thread. Pull them around under the wraps. Just let them sit in place. You don't need to cinch down too tightly um, at this stage. And the same with the next leg. From my near side. There we go. Just check that they're sitting where you like them. Sort of 
like I'm sort of angled down and off to the side. I'm going to tie the wing in. I'm just using some short deer hair. So the compara done here. Just clean out any loose fuzz at the bottom of your at the bottom of your deer here. I don't bother stacking this because it's fairly well aligned anyway. And then I like the tips to become just shy at the back end of the body. Make sure everything's in, sitting on top. A couple of turns. And if you take a couple of turns like, through the butts, it helps to sort of lock it in place. And just come in. trim them. I know I just like to leave them, what we call it. Just... So the last thing to tie is basically the the big legs, the back legs. And I like the knot. These are it's two strands of silly leg um knotted. And then the tip is just a single strand of cut off one. And I leave a wee, I leave a wee tag here, this helps to push the that single strand sort of down a wee bit, sort of kick it at an angle. So I'll do my offside first, and I have the knot just at the back of the body. I'll just take one turn just to grip it. And then on the near side, same again. And not just at the back of the body. Take a couple of turns. Just adjust all your legs. And then when you come to trim these, don't trim them too close. Like you want a wee fat stub there to help hold the legs in place. Stop them pulling out when a fish grabs it. Then I'll just take my thread to the front. Throw in a quick clip finish. And another. That's the tying done. Uh, all that's left then is I like to just sort of round off the head a wee bit. Just single cut, take the corners off. And then I take a dark brown marker, just black or olive or whatever, depending on the colour. And just stick a couple of eyes on it. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much difference the eyes make, but it doesn't do you any harm to put them on. So, work out a couple of things. And then, just to uh, finish it off, I like to come in with some head cement. Just get plenty in that belly crease. Just, just splash it in the side. You don't need to be very, um, worry about being very neat with it. Just get it in there. You can even dab it along the body to sort of help protect the thread wraps, add a bit more durability. I'm not the toughest to fly these foam hoppers, but they certainly work. So that's it. That's the uh, trifoam tri foam hopper. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I definitely tell you, I encourage you to tie some of these up and put them in your box if you live anybody with a hopper fall. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, bye.